Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at a concept called uh, resource routing or resourceful routing, as I've seen it sometimes referred to. So, and it's going to help us reduce our route files even more. So on the previous episode, I explained you guys how to do, how to use route groups. And someone in the comments, one of you guys asked me about a resource routes or route resources. And then I thought I'd make a video about it. And I think it's going to be quite helpful. So what exactly is it? Well, if you guys remember on our controller episode, I mentioned that a lot of our recommends a naming scheme for defining our routes, right? Our URIs, the name of our controllers, and even the method names, right? And even our route names. And this is the basically the naming scheme that Laravel recommends. I already mentioned it on our control episode, so I won't go too in depth, but as long as you're following this exact naming scheme or you want to follow it, Laravel gives you an easy way to define your routes and shorten your code. Okay, so the way it works is uh, you can go ahead and type in a route resource. It's a static method. And then pass it in as the first argument, your resources, uh, plural name. So for example, in our case, we have an idea model. Here I need to pass in ideas. If you have a user, you would pass in users, okay? And also one way you can know is in our routes, we had ideas and then idea, okay? So you need to pass in the first part of your route name. So I'll pass in ideas. And then as the second argument, you need to pass in a controller to handle all the requests, right? We already have our controller. So uh, it's called idea controller. I'll open it up. As you can see, we have show, store. You know, we've been following this exact naming scheme so far. So I'll pass it our controller as well. Idea controller. And that is it. Literally, that's all you have to do. So what Laravel will do is it will go ahead and make all of these, I think it's seven, seven routes, right? So, so far we've been doing it manually, right? We have our store, we have our show, our edit, update, and destroy. We have defined five of them. We have done them manually, right? This one line of code is same as doing all those five, okay? So Laravel will go ahead and create, well, plus the extra two. So let's go ahead and I'll comment these out so we can make sure it is working. So I'll comment it all of those out and I'll reload the page. I'll go to the view page. We can see it's working. I'll open up edit. I can even edit stuff. So the routes are still working. Now there is one issue here. Okay. So as I said, we have seven routes, right? And in our application, we are only using five of them, right? If I open up our controller, we have show, store, destroy, edit, and update. So we only have five out of seven, right? We don't have index and create. So Laravel will create those routes as well, right? And if you try to access it, you can actually go ahead and access ideas create. So this is the route I'm going to. It will actually exist, but you get an error because we don't have the method defined on our controller, right? Now this could potentially be some security risk. Also, you just don't want the routes you're not using. So what we can do is tell Laravel to not create these specific routes. So the way you do it is you can pass in a method called accept, basically exclude these routes and then pass in an array. And we can say, hey, uh, I don't like to have index and the create routes created, okay? Please don't make those. And Laravel will go ahead and not do that, okay? Now we get not found, so it is working. And one more thing we can do is, for example, on uh, our routes, we had a middleware, right? I could go ahead and also pass in a middleware if I want. For example, I want auth middleware. We can go ahead and do that and it will work as well. So there is one more issue we have. And the issue is our show route actually shouldn't have a middleware. And this store should be actually inside here, but it's okay. So our uh, show route is always accessible. So it, the auth middleware shouldn't apply to it. So the way we can solve that is actually we can kind of duplicate this and put our show as one of the accepts. So Laravel won't create a route for it. And then kind of duplicate this without the middleware. And instead of this accept, Laravel also has an alternative or the opposite called only, right? So only is basically, well, only create for these routes. And then we can pass in show here. Okay, so this is the kind of the opposite of accept. So this first line will create uh, edit, store, update, and destroy. And we'll ignore these three that we have defined here. And the one at the bottom will only create a route for show. Okay. And then we are not passing it the middle. Of it. So 
these two lines of code do the exact same thing as these five lines of code that we have up here. And I can go ahead and delete that. I can go ahead and also delete that. Okay. And everything should work as expected. Okay. I can still access it. If I log out, I can still view our route. So everything is working just fine. So that's how you refactor these uh, resources that you have with just two lines of code. One more thing we have here is our comments. And here we are using something Laravel documentation refers to as a nested resource. But in simple terms, basically, whenever you have a route where you have your main resource, or you can think of it like your main model. So we, in our case, we have ideas. And then you have a secondary resource that depends on the first one. In our case, it's going to be our comments, right? Comments belong to an idea. So, and then this second part of your URL is comments. Okay. So that's the kind of format that you have. The first half is your main resource. And then the second half is your secondary resource, right? And again, here we always are using plural, right? Ideas with an S, comments with an S. And then whenever we want to refer to a specific one, we use, you know, singular. Okay. So if this is the naming convention you have, you can define these by basically passing in ideas dot and then the second uh, resource, I want to say components, resources and name. So it's going to be comments. And it's basically identical to this line. This one at the above is identical to this one. However, uh, this route can actually have multiple versions, right? We could have comment, we can have, you know, delete all of those stuff. But in our case, we are only access, we are only using the store. So what we can do is use the only method and pass in store, okay? Just like this. And this one at the top is identical to the one at the bottom. Now, technically right now, in terms of like line, well, I guess we are missing the middle word, right? If you had the middle word, this one is gonna be a bit longer, but this is gonna shorten our code a little bit more. But in this case, because we're only using one of the seven routes, it's gonna be, a bit, I think it's one of five routes. It's gonna be a bit shorter, but if you were using all of them, uh, this one is obviously gonna be superior, okay? In terms of just, making our code smaller and that is it guys so we can now ahead go ahead and delete this and if you go and we check everything should work fine i can actually log in here so we can test a submission of a comment and i can say new comment and also i we have made a mistake here your control is important okay so in our for our comments we're actually using comment controller that's one thing i forgot to mention uh our logic for this store is inside this comment controller. So I'll make sure to go ahead and set that up. Okay. Now, if you actually go ahead and post a comment, you can see it created. Okay. I can say, hello, YouTube. And I forgot the O. Let's go for a zero. And that's it. As you can see, our comment is down here. So it is actually working, guys. Just like that, we have shortened our code quite drastically. It was like, I think, 10 lines of code initially. And then now we have brought it to like, uh, you know just three so which is very nice however guys you don't have to use this you could technically use your own naming convention if you want but i recommend you follow the ones that laravel recommends so if a new another laravel developer reads your code they know exactly what is going on and again it's also consistent across your entire code base so yeah i recommend you guys follow this naming convention but if you want to define your routes the old way you don't like this new syntax or it's a bit too complicated for you at the moment you can do it the old way basically what we did here in our art file, you can still go ahead and define them one by one, totally okay, nothing wrong with that. And later on, if you want, you can always, you know, migrate it to using this new resource syntax. So don't worry about it at all. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something new today. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. See you. Bye.